And now, if you're tired of bringing the typical bottle of wine or a bouquet of flowers as a gift to the host of a holiday gathering, we've got some alternatives. Here to share her curated list of gift unique ideas is etiquette expert Elaine Swan and Elaine. It's time to think out of the box, it right? It is. You have to think out of the box. You know, folks are tired of getting the bottle of wine or the chocolate or the flowers or what have you. And so when we think about bringing something to the host, we should think something more so about what they like. You know, oftentimes we think about gifts. We just want to give somebody what, yeah. you know, what we want them to have. But if we think about what the person likes or enjoys, then you're going to be spot on as far as the gifts are concerned. And you also said there's a difference between whether you're staying the night or you're just coming to a party. Yes. If you're staying the night, when you think about it, the gift tend to be anywhere from $10 to up to $40. That's where you're thinking about spending. Now, if you're going to, uh, I'm sorry, if you're coming to a party, yeah. small gift, really super easy. But when we're looking at staying the night overnight for someone's house, then you can go with that 50 and above. It just depends on your relationship with the person. Yeah. So yeah, in terms of spending money, don't overspend. Yeah, and this isn't like a baby shower. You don't open all the gifts at once, no, right? No, <laughs> this is not like a baby shower. You know, a lot of times people bring a gift, and they bring a gift to the host, and then they stand there, and they wait for the host <laughs> to open the gift. And that makes it awkward. So don't force the host to open the gift right then and there. It's a gift. Allow them to enjoy it during their leisure time. And why is it important not to show up empty-handed? Why do you need to bring a gift? You have to bring a gift in order to show your gratitude. You're just saying thank you for inviting me. Thank you for going through the trouble to make this occasion special for us. But keep in mind, we're talking about gifts. We're not talking about extra food. <laughs> Don't bring food items in terms of, you know, trying to add to the person's meal or, or, or what have you. It's a gift. Right. Don't leave me leftovers, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, you brought some great examples I for did. the different hosts in our lives. So yeah. let's let's go through it all. Yeah. So we have that. This is really, really cool for the wine lover, for someone who really loves wine. This is an instant wine chiller. It's by Rabbit. And the great thing about it is you just put ice right here and then you just pour a room temperature bottle of wine. You know, how we throw that wine bottle in the refrigerator. Yeah. Which pull, pour it in and it will without it. It will not dilute it at all. So it will chill it within seconds. <sighs> And then you can pour it in these glasses. And these are great glasses. I love them because, you know, you're walking around and you want to keep the wine chilled. Yeah. But then your hand gets all, uh, all cold. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> put this in the freezer for 24 hours. It's by Rabbit. The really great thing. Put it in 24 hours. Keeps it chilled. Really great. Okay. Yeah. Now, for the cook, someone who you know enjoys cooking, give them gadgets. Anything for the kitchen that's going to kind of help them. I have this Morton. Um, and this is so great because this is the thing that's really great about this. And this is uh, a cover that's on it. So you can put your spices in here yeah. and make your spices yourself and mix them up without it splashing all over the place. Mm -hmm. So have some really great recipes. And this is something that the host can really enjoy, especially if they love cooking. And then one other yeah. thing that's super cute. I love this rub away uh, sponge and it's super, super cute. You can rub away the smells off of your hand. Oh, wow. So this yeah. way, after all the cooking and cutting and everything, you can rub <laughs> that away. You can find that on Amazon, which is really great. And then by Elevation, the brand, they have boxes that you can ship, have shipped directly to the host so that if you have that overnight stay, yeah. they have, you get, for, this is for the host that's pampered, you know, lotions and potions and bath salts <laughs> and oils and things like ah, that. Nice big candle. And, yes, and oh, candles with a snuffer and everything. And then even planners and things like that. You know, give the host a chance to just really relax after all of that party planning. Yes, definitely unwinding. And so you've got to explain this because a lot of us were like, okay, what, what is, is a candle warmer? Yes, here's what's great about the candle warmer. This is dimmable, so you can dim it to make it lighter or darker. Okay. But what we're doing here is we're melting the wax here without lighting the candle at all. Oh. So this way you still get that really great aroma, but you don't have to worry about candles being lit. And here's why this is great for the host. Yeah. Because... So many people bring hostesses gifts of candles. So of all those candles, she can use it and now just go ahead. And, so this is going to warm the candle and melt the wax, get that aroma going without even lighting it. You don't have to light the candle. You don't have to light it. So it's super safe. So when the host falls out at the end of the night, <laughs> if she leaves the candle lit, it's okay. So it adds light and, and also a nice aroma. But it really is. Think about the host when you're doing this. Think don't think about host. yourself. Don't think about yourself. Here. Really think about the host. When you're thinking about this, the thing is... 
When we give a person a gift, just imagine that person using it instead of bringing useless gifts. <laughs> people are tired of that sort of thing. So instead of bringing a useless gift, bring something that the person can actually use and enjoy. All right. Well, Elaine, thank you so much for all these great ideas. And coming up next on California Live, get ready for lots of lackeys. Chef, Chef Jamie Gwen is back with some delicious recipes for the savory Hanukkah snack. But first, Layla Muhammad takes us on an enchanted stroll.